watching Don Shea Box of Nation. <laughs>
Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So yesterday, uh, I reported that Teofimo Lopez, he said that he's going to offer Devin Haney two to three million dollars. He said that he knows Devin is probably going to want more than that, but that's what he's got to take. Basically implying that he's the A side and not Devin Haney. So today, Teofimo Lopez, as you just heard right there, he just announced that he's sending out contracts to George Cambosis and Devin Haney for a fight possibly in the end of April or the beginning of May. And whoever gets back to him first, that's who he's going to fight. Now, before I get into my thoughts of Teo offering out contracts, let me just go ahead and correct Teo Fimo Lopez on one thing that he said that was incorrect. Uh, when he said that nobody wanted to fight Lomachenko, Devin Haney was the one that was aggressively, or the other person outside of Lopez, that was aggressively calling out Lomachenko. In fact, Devin Haney was Lomachenko's mandatory. And it was Lomachenko that vacated his belt to avoid Devin Haney. And that's how Devin Haney became the real WBC champion. And according to the WBC president, Lomachenko's team reached out to the president and asked for the same franchise status that Canelo Alvarez got. But the problem is the WBC president already went on camera and said the franchise is not a belt, it's not a championship. So even though it's a fact that Lopez wasn't the only person that was going after Lomachenko, I still give Lopez the most credit because he had been calling him out for the longest when nobody thought he had a chance and he became the first person out of all of the prospects that came up the same time he did to beat Loma. So to hear Teofimo Lopez go from saying he's not going to fight Devin Haney for another three to five years to now saying he may be fighting him this year in April, that's a good sign. That's a really good sign. That's good news. But the only question now is we have to find out if it's a realistic offer. Hopefully it's not one of those ridiculous offers. We know he's not going to say he wants $10 million like he said before. Because even Bob Arum said that's ridiculous. So at the end of the day, if Tio and Devin really want to make this fight happen, they're going to do whatever it takes to get that contract signed. Let's see how this unfolds, guys. That's all I got for now, and I'm on to the next one. Fellas, I've got some great news for you. If you've lost your hair or have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back through a process called scalp micropigmentation. So here's how it works. It's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. Make sure you go ahead and contact my man Scalp Carolinas on Instagram. And when you go on their pages, you can see for yourself what these guys look like before. I mean, these guys are literally hair magicians. I've never seen anything like this before, but all I can tell you guys is this is a serious game changer for us men. So make sure you get in contact with Scalp This and Scalp Carolinas on Instagram. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com, like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Listen, I'm telling you guys right now, in the world that we live in today, one of the most important things in life to have is a good lawyer. And I can vouch for this one right here because this brother is my personal lawyer. So if you need any type of legal representation, if you need legal advice, if you're having problems on YouTube, on your regular job, or whatever it is, contact lawyer, mediator, and business consultant, Issa Israel's law firm. I've been knowing this man for a while and he has been a true blessing to me. I'm telling you, he's affordable, he will work with you, but most importantly, he's not gonna just treat you like a customer. He will have your best interest. So to get in contact with him, go to iilawfirm.com or consultsglobal.com.